Many thanks for joining us. William Sila is our sign language interpreter there at the bottom end of your screen. I'm Linda Ogutu. Now, a high-ranking Kenyan police officer today kicked off a storm at the Mombasa High Court, blaming his seniors for the escalation of last year's deadly Peketoni attack. The then Lamu County Police Commander Leonard Omolo has blamed Deputy Inspector General of Police Samuel Arachi and Acting Deputy Inspector General of Police Joel Kitili for sabotaging a police counter-operation and leading to the killing of 65 people. KTN's Coast reporter Francis Ontomwa reports from Mombasa County. When little known Peketoni town of Lamu burst into flames, Leonard Omolo was the police commander. And today in his characteristic and bold confession, he revealed shocking details on why police units failed to respond promptly to the terrorism attack. Omolo told the court that his orders to junior officers to combat the enemy were dismissed by Deputy Inspector General of Police Samuel Arachi and Acting Deputy Inspector General of Police Joel Kitili who advised the officers to keep off the battlefield. He told the court that the top two ordered junior officers not to go to the scene of the terror attack. Again, the police will have placed their lives at great risk if they moved to Piketoni during the night to fight militiamen who had attacked the local police station. Omolo said Kitil instructed general service unit officers based at Mkoro in Lamu not to go to Piketoni to avoid being ambushed. He was testifying in the trial of two men, Mahadi Swale Mahadi, Elias Jesus, and Diana Suleiman Ahmed, charged with the murder of 65 people in last year's June 15th attack on civilians. The more long ways a prosecution witness gave his account of events and made chilling revelations during cross-examination by Mahadi's lawyer, Taib Ali Taib, testifying before Justice Martin Muya. His driver, a policeman, was killed in Piketoni violence too. Omolo also told the court that immediate former Deputy Inspector General of Police Grace Kaindi, former Inspector General of Police David Kimayo, former Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Olelenko, Kitili, and other top security officers ordered him to withdraw from Boni Forest, where his officers were pursuing Al-Shabaab militants. Francis Utomwa, KTN News, Mombasa.